also you're thinking about moving to Woodbridge, Virginia, but you'd kind of like to know a little bit more about the housing options in the area before you decide to make that big move. Well, in today's video, we're going to be taking you around Woodbridge, showing you three different houses at three different price points in three different neighborhoods to give you an idea of what may fit in to your budget. Right now, I'm here at Potomac Mills Mall, which if you live in the Woodbridge area, you automatically think of Potomac Mills. It is the biggest outlet mall in all of Virginia, has over 200 stores. As you can see behind me, has a movie theater. This AMC has 18 screens. You have Nordstrom Rack. You can even do your grocery while you're here. There's Costco as well. And if you're on 95, you'll also see that as you're driving past, there is a massive Ikea as well if you're looking to get some new furniture for your new home. I wanted to start here because it really is a staple to the Woodbridge area. And without further ado, let's get started. If this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything there is about eating, sleeping, working, playing, and living in Northern Virginia, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell for notifications so that you'll never miss a video. My name's Amanda and the team and I get calls every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Northern Virginia and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, send us a DM on social. We've got your back when you're making that move to Northern Virginia. For our first property, we are in the Lake Point condo community, and this is located about 10 minutes off 95. So if you're gonna be commuting to Fort Belvoir or Arlington or even into DC, you're not too far off the highway, which makes for a little bit easier commute because some parts of Woodbridge, it can be 15, 20 minutes once you get off of 95 to get you home. This property behind me is a two bedroom, two and a half bath, and it's actually a townhouse style condo. It features two levels. And with that, it comes with one reserved parking space, 1,240 square feet, and it was listed at 279,999. These were built in 1997, so somewhat newer construction. And the nice thing about this community is it has some great amenities. You've got a party room, you've got an outdoor pool, tennis court, and you have tot lots. And then throughout the community, there are a lot of paved walking paths if you wanna get outside and get some fresh air. We're gonna drive you around the neighborhood, give you a little bit better lay of the land, and then we'll see you at our next stop. For our next house, we are in the Dale City neighborhood. This neighborhood does not have an HOA. And this house that we're coming up on was built in 1989. It has three bedrooms, two and a half baths, two levels, and it's 1,408 square feet. It is also situated on a 0.18 acre lot. So you've got a nice large backyard. Dale City is a great neighborhood if you really want to have a single family home, but you'd like to keep your budget under the 450,000 mark. There are certainly homes here that are higher than that, but you will still have a lot of options if you wanna stay under 450,000 and be in a single family. We'll take you around the neighborhood, show you what it looks like a little bit more, and then we'll see you at our next stop. For our last house, we are in the Forest Vista neighborhood. 
Hope's neighbor is a little bit smaller, just a little over 60 homes. And this home that we're coming up on back here was built in 2001, has four bedrooms, three and a half baths, a two car garage, and it's situated on a 0.27 acre lot. Inside is 3,768 square feet, and it's priced at 614,900. This neighborhood, um, something that stands out about it is it has a very reasonable HOA fee. You don't get a lot of amenities, but for $180 per quarter, you do get snow and trash removal, common area maintenance, and then there's tot lots located in the neighborhood as well. Definitely very affordable. We are right off of uh, Prince William County Parkway, which is a major artery through Woodbridge. So another location that if you're going to be commuting to another area for work, you won't have to go too far in order to get to 95 or Route 1. That about wraps it up for our vlog of Woodbridge today. Woodbridge is home to 51,417 people. It has a median home value of $454,749. And the median household income in Woodbridge is $76,538. As always, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, send us a DM, whatever works for you. We've got your back when you're moving to Northern Virginia. Until next time, we hope to show you around town.